is more comfortable, rubber or metal? That That's pretty obvious. I think everyone's gonna say rubber, right? So we're here today to talk about uh, one wheel rims and what the best size is gonna be. And in my opinion, and I'm sure after this video, it's gonna be also your opinion, the smaller, the better. That's what she said. <laughs> when it comes to one wheel hubs. So let's get into it. We've got right here a stock one wheel GT hub. This thing is a six and a half inch diameter rim. This is like, you remember back in like the early 2000s when everyone was rolling around on Escalades and Yukons and they're all the rappers rapping about like 24 inch rims with spinners on them about how cool they were. Well, have you ever seen any of those on the Rubicon Trail off-roading? No, of course not those cars would drive like crap. And that's even with suspension built into them. And guess what? One wheels don't have suspension, surprise, surprise. I don't think I'm saying anything crazy controversial there, but check this out. What you do see on the Rubicon Trail is tiny little hubs and big old tires because they have all of that extra meaty rubber in there that could be used for shock absorption, grip. You can air down your tire a lot more. It's way the heck better. So let's talk about five inch hubs. We got the MTE right here. So this is a five inch diameter hub. So all we're doing with this, we're not changing the outside diameter of the tire or anything like that. All we're doing is we're swapping all of this gross aluminum right here that's just so hard on your body when you hit a pothole or some chunks or go off a drop or a curb or whatever. And we're trading it with this nice, soft, squishy rubber. That's the huge advantage that you have right there is you've got the trade off from metal to rubber other than that, your tires are exactly the same. You actually have a big new selection of tires, which is pretty darn cool. When you go to turn, you could really flex that sidewall in there, really lay into turns. When you hit some chunk, all that sidewall will flex, unlike the metal, which doesn't flex. When you hit drops, it's nice and squishy, like you landed on a pillow instead of just getting totally jarred and having all that shock go into your body. So five inch, way better than six and a half inch or six inch if we're talking XR. All right, let's, let's get that thing out of here. Let's talk about the MTE. So we've got three different magnet options when it comes to the MTE. So if you look inside every hub where the stator goes, there's actually a ring of magnets that goes around. And those magnets can be different strengths. So the lower the magnet strength you have, the higher the top end you're actually gonna have on your one wheel. But the trade-off on that is torque. So if we go with a really high strength magnet, we're gonna have an increased torque, but we are gonna have a lower top end speed. So which magnet is right for you? Let's talk about it. So let's start with the N42 magnet. That is our lowest strength magnet option that we offer. And that's actually the same magnet that is in the XR hub, it's in the GT hub. Um, so if you just go N42, when you get an MTE, you're not really gonna notice any difference in torque. You're not gonna notice any difference in the top end speed. It's basically exactly Exactly the same it's exactly what you know so pretty pretty straightforward swap right there so the n48 is a little bit stronger than the n42 so you are going to have a slight decrease in your top speed but you are also going to have a bump up in your torque so the n48 is that nice middle of the road like nice compromise in between torque and top end speed it's the one that i personally ride on all of my builds with mtes i'm rocking n48s on all of them and so it's like a it's a really good blend i, I kind of like that one the best and then people are always asking like what kind of top end speed am i going to lose you know i like to ride around town at 22, 23, 24 miles an hour. Am I gonna lose that ability? No, I mean, we're talking a decrease of like one to two miles an hour off like the very, very top end speed. So it's like, if your board could go 30 before, now it can go 28. So it's really doesn't make a huge difference at all on the top end speed. You're not really gonna notice any difference unless you're like really, really pushing that top end and constantly almost riding that nosedive territory. Not gonna make a difference, but you will notice a nice little increase in that low end torque. It's gonna be a little snappier. It's, it's a nice blend. I like it personally, N48, my favorite. Final one we're gonna talk about is our N52 magnets, and those are the highest strength magnet that we offer. So the N52 is gonna have the biggest effect when it comes to low end torque, but it's also going to take a little bit of a chunk out of your very, very top end speed if you put it on an XR or a GT, not counting the GTS. Who's the N52 good for? The N52 would be really good for like 
Clydesdale, a bigger guy, uh, folks that want maybe some extra low end torque, but really don't push the top end of like that 30 mile an hour zone up there. And just kind of like cruising around town at like 20, 22 miles an hour, the N52 is great for that. You're not gonna see any decrease in top end speed, like really affecting the low 20s whatsoever. So if you like to cruise around town in the low 20s, you're a bigger dude that maybe likes some extra low end torque, the N52 is a really good choice for you. Finally, we should talk about like which board you have and maybe which magnet option is the best for that particular board. So we do have the MTE for both XR and for GT, and it also fits GTS and technically, it also fits Pint and Pine X, but the options of tires for Pint and Pine X is a little bit smaller because it's a smaller frame, so you need something that's a smaller circumference or diameter. So there is, I believe, a Burris tire that'll fit on it. So if you got a Pint Pine X, wanna throw an MTE on there, go for it. Just know that your tire option is gonna be a little bit limited. Let's start with XR. So if you've got an XR, um, the XR stock is a N42. So, you know, if you go with the N42 MTE, that's a really good choice. Um, for me, my XR that I ride is actually a Vesk XR. So it's got a little bit more juice in it. I've got that 75 volt pack on my trail board. I've got a stock XR pack on my trick board. And I really like the 42 or the 48 for the XR. I think that's a really, really good zone to be in. The XR already doesn't have a super high top end speed. So, you know, taking the, the lower magnet options and still maintaining that, that top end, I think is a little bit more appropriate for the XR. XR. So I ride an N42 on my trick board and I ride an N48 on my um, trail board and my kind of all around town board. So that's what I go with. I think the N42 and the N48 is like a really good zone to be in for the XR. So if you got an XR, I'd definitely look at those options right there. The standard GT can really like take the full range of all the options. So the N42 is great because you won't notice any difference in torque or top end when it comes to the magnet strength of having any effect on it. So that's cool. The 48 will give you a little bit more low end punch without really taking a whole lot off the top end. And I think it's probably the perfect blend for the GT, honestly. And then if you really want some of that low end torque and really like hammering out of turns and you're not riding in like the mid to high 20s, then that N52 is a pretty darn good option for you as well. So if you got the GT, you can really go through the full suite of them. Whichever one you go with is gonna be a great option, but you can sort of fine tune it to the style of riding that you like to do. And you know, if you can't make up your mind, just go with the 48, because it's a nice middle of the road, easy choice. Finally, the GTS. So with the GTS, I'd really suggest going with the N52 magnets, the higher strength ones. The reasoning for that is the stock magnets in the GTS, we believe are N52s through all our testing they're showing up to be about N52s. So the GTS really prioritizes all that torque, all that low end torque, really maxing it out with the magnet options. And then what they do is they have a higher voltage in it so that they can maintain that higher top end speed as well. And then the GTS is also governed at 25 miles an hour with pushback and haptic buzz. So, you know, the top end speed of that sucker, it'll do like 35 plus. So, you know, by doing the higher strength magnets, you're really not taking the top end off of that thing whatsoever. And then if you do lower strength magnets in there to try to boost that top end up, I don't know about you, but I don't think going 40 plus miles an hour on a GTS is a good idea anyway. So N52 for the GTS seems to be the best possible option and that's it. So whatever board you guys have, XR, GT, GTS, Vesk build, Pine X, Pint, I don't know. There's so many different boards out there nowadays. There's definitely an MTE hub to fit you and your riding style. So check out the website, get on it, have fun, trade that awful metal for some nice soft rubber, and we'll see you out there on the trails. Float on, my friends. Check this kickflip out. Oh, impossible to waste it. Oh, switch. Oh, what? What?